Hey there, everybody. Welcome back with the plat for Platypus is the name and welcome to another Dragon Quest Tact video. You got Morning Plat today. Morning Plat has to go to work in the next half hour here, but right now we got Dragon Quest Tact video time. So I actually missed my first Dragon Quest Tact video uh, for the first time in like, I don't know, since Dragon Lord True From true form came out or like the ex fight so it's almost three months i didn't do a video for one day and honestly it's because we finally got some announcements about things that are upcoming and i just uh didn't want to do like i w when there's something big around the corner that i want to make content on like i get less excited about making normal videos like well i didn't want to do like just some i don't know so basically a filler video right um but now basically i'm gonna not be missing videos for a while so if you guys like it's weird plaid didn't release a video that day that is because we are getting a lot of stuff coming up and honestly i'm just all, also prepping for it uh all right three big pieces of news today that were all announced in game we already knew it from the roadmap but we're gonna take a look at each of these things individually first character rank limit increases so there's actually some bits of news in here that i wasn't aware of uh starting april 26th pst which i like that doesn't give a time for that but whatever raising the rank limit with the new limit you'll be able to upgrade your party members to rank six get ready to have fun i i don't love how all these posts end with that there are sometimes i think it's appropriate and there are other times where it's like hey like a new banner's coming out but get prepared to have fun i mean it feels like a way of saying get be prepared to spend money like, using the units is fun, I guess. Like, I don't know. It, it's kind of weird wording. I do understand it, though. All right. At rank 6, a party member's maximum level is increased by 10. So, it, it's interesting because, like, A's, I think, um, at least S's will get, like, two different jumps of 20 levels uh, for a rank up. But it looks like now, going forward, every rank is always going to be 10 levels. It would actually be really cool if, um, like, B's you know and c's got like a jump of 20 levels or something like that maybe that put them above a's i don't even i'm not even doing the math right now but um it'd be cool if like maybe some of these weaker units got a bigger boost from rank ups but more importantly max out the level of a rank six character so that means get to like for s's level 110 a's level 100 and they'll earn a perk that might boost an ability's potency effect or more so is this like there's not there's never been a an additional strength increase with ranking up and getting a level up in terms of like there's been stats right you get hard stats so you haven't had i'm trying to think i don't think you ever rank up you do get the ability to unlock armor so it's not like it's completely alien to get an additional bonus um at max rank but this is a saying if you get max rank and then you get max level you're basically going to get like a free awakening kind of like a free perk so this might be kind of akin to getting Awakening 6 if you get them to the max level, but instead of having to farm more units, you just get it once they hit the max level. So this is going to make hitting the max level for like your arena team ASAP uh, very, very important because obviously this not only are you getting all these stats, but you're also going to get some sort of damage increase, it seems like. Um, like beyond that, like a potency increase or something else. We don't know exactly what it is. I'm sure it's going to change character to character. We'll take a look going forward. Also, starting April 26th, story chapters one and two will be available in hard mode. You'll need the new materials available on hard in story to upgrade the ranks of your characters to six. So this means like, even though I know we're going to talk about arena in a minute here, um, I'm not sure if i want to do arena right away i, mean, I want to do it that day right but i want to, you want to spend all your resources to get these new materials asap that way you can rank up your things to rank six that way you'll be able to make your team stronger for arena kitty cat don't go don't go on there don't go on there he's being he's being bad he knows he's not allowed up there down buddy damn Sometimes he walks on top of my computer and then shuts it off by stepping on the power button. Man, what a cute guy. All right. Um, you'll need new materials. Blah, 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 blah. And that's why you're not supposed to go up there, buddy. He just knocked it over. Um, story chapter three on hard difficulty will be available. Will be released gradually. So this is saying that new hard difficulty will be available as we go on. They'll add the rest of the chapters. Um, but which is actually super interesting because not all classes not all classes not all families are going to have the ability to go up to rank six 
because you're gonna need these this new material. I, this is a, this is an assumption on my part. Um, I think this is what I heard everyone talking about, but the new material you're gonna need is gonna be family specific, just like the rank up materials, you know, like the the demon orbs or whatever. And they're not gonna have all the families in the first two chapters, so you're only gonna be able to rank up like dragons and beasts um, to rank S six. So this is gonna make royal reptile, in my opinion. Um, probably disproportionately good for a few months because he's going to be one of the few good S ranks that's able to rank up to S6. So, like, obviously Zoma's insane and killer, but Zoma is going to be S5. So, um, I don't know. Like, you're probably Zoma's still going to be killer and totally worth using, but I do think it's interesting that it could be very much um, worth using Royal Reptile if you have him with a couple Awakens. Um, all right, back to the list. So, that's the rank up things. We'll go into more details about this shit as it comes out. We get more and more information. Let's talk about Arena Last. So this one's going to be a really short and sweet one. We're getting something called a Dragwire, which is a really, really cool name. Um, it looks kind of ridiculously stupid in this short picture. It looks like, I don't know, I guess Green Dragon mixed with Great Tiger Cub, which is definitely the idea of what it's supposed to be, like a Dragon Jaguar. Um... So, the Magical Beast appears in the new story content, so we're going to be able to fight him, I assume, in the new story content, and probably not in hard, but probably in 16, 17, and 18, right? Those chapters. Um, so, I'm kind of excited to see him. I'm excited to see what he does, but I've never heard anyone talk about this unit, which means either it's not in Japan, which is very unlikely, or it's probably not that good, which is much more likely. Um, but I don't know. I I've never heard anyone mention drag... Uh, Dragwar like ever so it's probably not very good but um it is a beast family there i think beast family could use some love what's like the best beast the best beast is what probably hellion right and hellion's an a rank so maybe getting like an insanely good um s rank would be really really nice if you can get a i i don't know if i'm gonna pull for this guy i mean i'll read his stats and i'll look into it but likely because i'm trying to I'm currently I'm saving my money and my stuff for the six month anniversary event for that banner because it's going to be a couple hundred bucks. Uh, so I'm just going to save up for a couple months to do that. Um, so I'm probably not going to do this, but I will get tact points. But I still think as long as Zoma is available to pull on, I'd rather go for dupes of Zoma. You know, like there, I, I would be shocked if this guy would be better for my arena plans than zoma would be right um the collector in me wants to pull for it but because this is a gotcha they want you to have that desire to pull for everything and i think i'd rather double down and just spend my tact points for the next week or two on zoma it's only gonna be it's not even like that many right i do have the metal cards but um it's still not gonna be an insane amount so um jaguar is coming arena here we go arena is coming today 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 like we knew it would be coming before the end of april um, and we, I think we all assumed on the 26th because that's when they had a big patch coming out. So it will be coming out today, but it's not coming out till 10.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time tonight. Um, so I'm not going to be making content on this. I might make a video, actually. I might record a video tonight. Maybe even put it live right away, but I'm not going to be streaming this. Unfortunately, this is like the one big content update <laughs> hiccup that I'm not going to be streaming right away. Um, I will be streaming it the following, you know, uh, mm, no, I won't even be streaming. All right, it's Monday now. Tuesday night is the podcast. Um, maybe we move the podcast out a day so we can stream this. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But there's, I'm likely not going to be able to stream this until Wednesday, which would be really, really lame. But um, yeah, we'll figure it out. Maybe I can get Tuesday off of work and we get to stream Arena all day. That could be really fun. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll see. I'll see if I can work that out. Um, the Arena will stage its official grand opening tonight really late the arena is dragon quest tax first player versus player mode letting you pit your party against others and work your way up the ranks which is a big goal for us personally here at for platypus i want to be top 100 don't know how realistic that is i think it's pretty reasonable given the amount i've spent in the game and the, given the fact that i'm a genius uh the arena also hosts limited time tournaments each with their own set of rules here's a taste of what to expect so the rules basically are going to be weight limits and an additional set of rules beyond that um, we're not going to read this whole fucking thing, but he basically, here's the weights, certain S units, which I believe are, um, 
Riddle family, which is the question mark, you know, question mark, question mark. Uh, I, I think they're referred to as Riddle. And I'm just going to call them that going forward because it's much easier to say than question mark three times. So Riddle family and additional, um, maybe it's like the boss units and then maybe a few others. Oh, heroes, heroes. Sorry, um, heroes and riddle family are going to be the really, really heavy ones. And then normal S ranks are going to be 50. So even things like, I think, Slyonheart is only going to be 50. Um, Royal Reptile is going to be 50. All the generic banners are going to be 50. Um, and then the non, non boss units, I think, are also going to be 50. I like that there's a, a, an invisible distinction. These are all S units, right? But. There's at least a slight distinction between like them and the PVP, right? They understand that they're making these units stronger, so getting the weight limit higher. I, the weight limit could probably even be higher than 65 to do it, but anyway, the first week we're doing this, we're going to have a weight of 235. You can figure out how you want to break that down. You can have a full team of A ranks and still have a lot of weight left over. Let's just pull out a calculator. I'm not going to pretend to be smarter than I am. I said I'm a genius, all right? It's all just, you got to have confidence, all right? You don't have to be honest with it. We do 35 times 5. That's only 175, right? So you have 60, you have 60 extra weight here. So basically, even if you had a team of full A ranks, that's not going to cut it for this weight. Um, you don't want to put that much weight to waste, probably. So if I want to run a, um, if I want to run a Royal Reptile plus 35 plus 35 plus 35, this is not the way to do it. Right, even then, that's only 190. I'm still putting so they're gonna want like a couple S ranks in here, probably to utilize it. You probably, I'm probably gonna run like Royal Reptile, Zoma, and then, um, I don't know, we're gonna figure it out. I'm gonna play a lot of arena on the first day, second day to really have fun. Excuse me, buddy, what's up? Come here, buddy. You meowing at the door trying to wake up mom. She's got us, she's sleeping for another half hour. Don't, don't wake her up right now. Um, so also there's a secondary the secondary effect this time sometimes they'll be like only b ranks or whatever blah 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 this one is um all damage down 30 percent this is actually kind of getting me thinking like i don't know how the rank the the points works i know you get points for winning i think points for speed and points for not losing any units um but all damage down 30 percent is a huge deal it makes me wonder if this would be a good time for king bubble slime you know I always am thinking that, by the way. I'm always thinking maybe it's a good time for King Bubble Slime. But his damage isn't going to go down 30%, right? Unless, I mean, this says all damage, but I assume this isn't poison. Now, it might be, but I assume this means physical, spell, martial, breath. Like, that's those are the ways to deal damage in the game outside of status ailments. And now, I assume that this is bypassing status ailments. Day one on my first three attempts, I probably won't be doing it. Um, but I will be experimenting with this in free battles to see if we can uh, see how it works, right? Maybe do a Hell Gladiator, uh, do like a poison team. Hell, can Hell Gladiator rank up? Is he undead? That might be really good, actually. Hell Gladiator S6. Bubble Slime sadly won't be able to get S6, but already in, in a thing like this where it has 30% um, less damage, he's already like the tankiest motherfucker around, right? I'm not too concerned about him dying, especially with this so he's just gonna go up there it's, it's it wouldn't be a fast victory it'd be really slow so if speed's a huge deal for getting points then this probably won't be worth it free battles um oh, sorry let me move that cursor uh so free battles basically after you use all your arena attempts for the day you get to just play as much as you want in arena which is really a dream for content creators like me it lets me just play make videos of jank teams or off meta teams or teams that might be able to win you know it, it just gonna let me make themed teams. So it's gonna let me ha play for fun. Imagine playing a video game for fun. That's crazy, right? I'm not just playing to win. I'm not just playing to grind. I'm not just playing to collect things. I'm using the units that I have and I am just gonna have fun seeing what they could do. With no, there, there's, I'm not, I can't win anything, right? This is just free battles. I can't lose anything. I'm not, it's, it's just for the pure enjoyment of the combat system in this game. Um, and I'm very, very excited for that. Like, I'll probably try to do, like, the lowest, you know, weight team that could still clear content or, like, still get a win. Like, what's the lowest weight team you can get a single win with? Who knows? Kitty Cat. Bro, he, he's being crazy right now, man. You calm down, buddy. I'm going to have to go over there and give him some tuna. I'll have to give him a treat. That'll teach him. All right, so there is going to be a swap shop available as well. 
I don't know how much these things are going to cost. We'll do a full guide on it, blah, blah, blah. You know, the deal will break it all down. There's not a whole much I could tell you right now. Um, but um, there is going to be a free grindable S rank unit, right? You only get three attempts today, uh, a day, so you're only going to get three chances to earn points to get this S rank and to get, um, sorry, to get points to which you could then use in the swap shop. But you are going to be able to get this S rank unit, which means it might be the first thing I awaken. It probably won't. The very first thing I'm probably going to get, I, I had to look at the store. I'll be honest. You got to prioritize probably very carefully when you have a very limited amount of time. Um, but this liquid metal armor is going to be our first S rank armor in the game and our first probably not poop armor. Um, and this is just going to be too important. I probably am going to beeline this. Like even if there's like tickets, right? Pull tickets, like pulling on Zoma and shit. I'm not going to be getting that. Like it's cool. But I, I really think this liquid metal armor is going to put you above and beyond an arena. We'll look at it um, to see exactly how good it is. But I'm sure it, it, getting armor is could be a huge, huge deal. So I'll, I'll, when I actually could look at everything, I'll give you like a straight breakdown of arena priorities. But I definitely want to awaken this S unit. I want to get that S armor. I don't know if you can get multiple of them. Probably not. I mean, you can get multiple, but the second ones will just let you reroll like everything else in the game. Duh. I don't don't even acknowledge that question because it was dumb um yes so that's gonna be it that's all the news that and this is all coming tonight but it's coming at like 10 30 tonight right so like what am i gonna do tonight to make content like nothing i might i'm gonna see if i can get tomorrow off work so we could just play make content have a good time hanging out together um mostly and also grind you know i would love to be able to stay up till midnight just grinding getting ready to make content because i need to write clear story i'm probably not going to do a guide on the story i might do it on the hard story like where to how to rank up to whatever rank six or whatever but not on like the normal story right that's just going to be fun for people to experience some gems there's probably not anything really worth me talking about there um but you know the one thing that they haven't talked about that might be true there are they going to add more mini metals is there going to be a um a mini metal influx you know are we going to have a either more mini metals than we could trade for or are they going to um like, we know that there's more mini metals in Japan, right? So when do they add them? Adding more stories seems like the perfect time to add stuff like that. Um, especially on, with hard and on increased normal stuff. So hopefully we get more a better mini metal shop. Not that it's bad, but, you know, a lot of people are have gotten most of the value out of it at this point. Um, I'm not saying everyone has, of course. But also just adding more mini metals in general will make it easier for people to get the lower level stuff or to get the orb and the second orb. Um, cause right now you have to get every mini metal in the game to get the orb. Whereas if they add more mini metals, like they add five more, maybe they add something that costs 75 instead of 70, but also it'll make, um, it way easier for most players to get that second orb. Even if it doesn't make it any easier to get the, uh, 75 orb or the 75, whatever it is. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it. Thank you so much for platypuses for platypus. I'll see you, uh, tonight, tomorrow. I don't know. A lot of stuff coming out. Obviously it's not out yet. And it's coming out at the most inconvenient time possible, like 1030 at night for me. Um, if they would have just held it until the following day at five or something, or they would have brought it out a couple hours earlier, it would have been much easier for me to make content. But who knows? I might get a day off work because of this. Anyway, peace out, friends. I'll see you next time. Be excited. I'm excited. Morning Platt may not seem excited, but trust me, he's very excited. He just has to go to work and he needs some coffee. See you guys later and see you guys in the arena.